Jury selection in a racially charged case grew heated today with allegations of bias. And we're moving closer to opening statements in the murder case against three men charged in the death of Ahmad Arbery. So here's three things you need to know tonight. Prosecutors are challenging the racial makeup of the jury. They say they're concerned the defense team eliminated potential jurors because they're black. Narrowing down the pool of 65 potential jurors to 12 jurors and four alternates has taken most of the day, possibly pushing back the timeline of opening statements. On your side, Kaylee Tracy is joining us live in Brunswick tonight and following what turned into a very dramatic and confrontational scene, Kaylee. That's right, Anthony, and still dramatic right now as we speak in the courtroom in the courthouse here behind me. And a lot of the day actually was pretty quiet as the attorneys were silent as they struck and chose potential jurors. But that ended probably about an hour, hour and a half ago as it became clear that the defense struck 11 of the 12 black potential jurors from the pool. And as I said, they're still going through some of those because the state challenged eight of those 11. Now I do want to tell you going into today, black potential jurors made up 20% of the pool. The final jury, however, has just one black panelist. Prosecutors challenge again eight of the 11 strikes against black pool members from the defense. Striking jurors on race alone is illegal. Defense attorneys say they struck 13 white potential jurors for the same reason they struck the black ones as well. And they said that that reason was that they had a fixed opinion or strong bias about the case. Most of the jury selection in this case and the decisions we had to make is the epitome of the lesser of two evils. Uh, we are stuck between a rock and a hard place, given the fact that the majority of the African American jurors that came in here were struck for cause immediately because of their firm opinions. Now, I do all want to mention the judge said yesterday that he would hear motions after they selected the jury today, possibly going into tomorrow. That obviously has not started yet because they have not even chosen the 12 jurors and four alternates. Still deciding that in the courthouse here tonight. We'll, of course, keep you updated on air and online. For now, reporting live, Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News on your side. And our legal analyst will join us in the next half hour to weigh in on what's happened in court today. Thank you, Kaylee.